Hi, it's Craig, WJ6F. Today's video, we're going to be talking about the MFJ902H travel tuner, and we'll get to it right after this. At the time of filming this video, the 902H is going for $169.95. They're saying it's tiny, measures four and a half inches by two and a quarter inches by three inches. It can handle up to 150 watts, covers 80 to 10 meters, also has a tuner bypass switch, and they say it tunes nearly everything. Again, they say 150 watts and three stacked power powder iron toroids. And this is all to handle real power and not just QRP. And of course, as we all know, the bypass switch lets you bypass the tuner if you don't need it. And they show you some of the other tuners they have. I did do a video and I will link that up in the corner for the 902B. And the ballon they say it has is a four to one ballon. As you can see on the front, you have your controls for antenna, transmitter, and inductance. Then on the back is where you'll hook up your radio, the antenna, and if you have balanced wire, you can use these binding posts for that. You have your ground lug. Now it does say on the back here to put in a jumper when using the balanced line antennas. Again, the inside here, you can see the toroids for the inductance control. Then you have your transmitter control and the antenna control. Over here you have for the balance line, and in the center this is your bypass switch. Then you have the connectors for your antenna and radio back here. Now per the manual, the transmitter and the antenna controls, they have maximum capacitance, meaning they're fully meshed at position zero. And minimum capacitance, position 10, and fully open. Right now they're both set to the minimum at position 10. You go over to zero and you can see how the fins move and this is what is known as fully meshed. Now with the inductance switch over here on the, your right, it's saying that in position A, you have maximum inductance and in position L, you have minimum inductance. Now per the manual, it says always use the minimum amount of inductance as possible. Minimum inductance gives the best efficiency, maximum power handling, and widest bandwidth. They also say do not operate on 160 meters. Remember, it can only cover 80 through 10. Now to get this ready for use, what you want to do is make sure your antenna is set to zero and the transmitter is set to five. Also make sure that on the back switch that you are set to tune and not bypass. Okay, the radio we're going to be using is the Yaesu FT891. You can see how we've got it hooked up. We're going from the radio into the 902H and then out to the antenna. As you can see here, the antenna I'm going to be using is the Buddy Stick Pro. I don't have a counterpoise or anything like that hooked up to the antenna. We're just leaving it as is and tapped for 20 meters. And we're gonna see if the 902H can in fact match this antenna with the radio. As we saw for the manual, the antenna you're gonna to wanna to start at zero, transmitter at five. And again, you always want the lowest inductance. Now, one thing to be cautious about, never hold the push to talk button while you're changing the inductance. So what we're gonna do, I've already advanced it a few, so we can save some time here. It's currently set to G on inductance, and we're gonna try and find the lowest inductance as we go around, and we're gonna to go towards L. And we can see that's way up there, giving us the highest WR. Change it to H. And that's come down, or right at three. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do you're going to adjust the transmitter control for the lowest reflected power. You can see as we change it, it bounces around. 
and then you're going to want to move over to antenna and you're going to do the same. And there, we're low as we're going to get. And sometimes you'll have to go back and forth and change your inductance until you hit it just right. And then once you're done, you can up the power. Now that we've got the power back up to the power we want it, we're going to go and we're going to change it from AM, which is where we had it because that has a constant carrier. We're going to go back over to SSB. And it automatically goes back in. I tried to make a contact on 10 meters, 20 meters, and 7 meters, but unfortunately I wasn't able to do so. I do like the MFJ902H. It can handle up to 150 watts. It works with all the bands I use, which is 10 through 80 meters. I like the fact that it's compact, it's easy to use, and you can tune pretty much anything with it. It works great with my FT891. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comments section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description area. And while you're here, why don't you check out one of these other videos, and thanks again for watching.